Hey guys, can someone give me a prompt for creating music? Uh, Karnataka music in Bhojpuri style. Any particular BPM? One hundred. Yes, I think I'll go for the last. The brain behind this particular platform, uh, Bit of an AI, Mansoor Rahman uh, Khan. Uh, welcome to our uh, office uh, and we are really privileged to have you today with us it's my pleasure and, to be uh, here i think since morning all of our team is just experimenting with bitover ai and everyone is uh, walking with the music and you know it's a pretty interesting thing that is happening what was the inception behind uh, this particular creation here what all effort went into creating something like this yeah, yeah so uh, inception is purely from uh, an inspiration as founders we were both musicians and we wanted to build something really fascinating in the music tech industry also going after a real problem so we went after the problem of background music scores for content creation the way we went about it is like you know by partnering with artists for the data set side of things and then hiring the best phd's that could take this data and build models for music generation uh and and have it exposed to consumers where they can give prompts and generate music so yeah. that's the whole end to end stitching of the piece uh from inspiration to inception to use case to Got a it. product yeah so on that note uh i think let's create something what is your most favorite prompt yeah. that you have used uh with one ai and let's try that so maybe you can give something like this a uh, cinematic okay. uh soundtrack uh for a scene comprising horses running in a field so the, uh, i always think of uh, prompts from film making standpoint you know like keeping a scene in mind <laughs> got it got how it. would these creators compose so you can hit compose i think once the music is generated there is something called as galloping freedom is it like already generated or no so we give a file name oh uh, all right yeah so <laughs> okay that is also contains like yeah, yeah so so it's a file name <laughs> got uh, it for the user got let's it. say it's a ai generated file name got it and <laughs> then uh, then they can rename it to what they like okay yeah, yeah. and once the music is generated uh, user can come back again use it however they want or there's yes, like yes we give you download capability got it. Got it. but we also give you edit capability Beautiful. so you can edit the output and you can keep prompting it till the output is perfect to what you have in your mind got it yeah. got it interesting so let's play this track uh yeah, go for it galloping freedom it's called so okay <laughs> wow this has got like yeah. <laughs> so it's got those powerful cinematic beats and you know like which which kind of gives you a feel like yeah. yeah there's a big field and there are horses that are running in the direction you can close your eyes and imagine the scene we were just talking how music can create imagination Right. So the one of the interesting things that uh, before I started building this product uh, mm. I did this uh, course by Hans Zimmer okay on uh, soundtracking and uh, background scores and I wanted to understand how he thinks about filmmaking there is a master class got by it. him I, if you guys would probably know and he talks he said a very interesting line he said that um, video editors think in terms of sections correct music composers think in terms of bars correct how do you <laughs> combine the two wow so that is basically the idea of what we thought in beethoven like if if i can see an edit can i imagine what the sound would go for that particular edit Absolutely. from a musician's point of view yeah so that's the kind of user interface that we have been always working on i'm sure you experimented a lot and also any like interesting story behind like you mentioned about the data set being used initially it is being used from your family's right. thing also very very interesting right. uh, so can you give me some inspiration or a prompt for your sitar practice uh, what do you do when you get bored other than yeah. building bit over one ear okay yeah <laughs> maybe you can type like uh, a sitar uh, soundtrack got it in medium tempo and then you can hit generate and about my family that you asked so yeah. i learned sitar from my father ustad chote rehmat khan he is a world renowned sitar player mm. uh, and uh, my family has still active 11 sitar players who are performing worldwide wow uh, and uh, my family has been in music for seven generations correct so sitar has kind of been shaped in my family got it and uh, and my great grandfather was like one of the pioneers in sitar music he was uh, appointed as the court musician at mysore maharaja palace damn it oh, uh, nice. so and so <laughs> since then we have moved to south of india and we are the only sitar family in south of india basically the first source of uh, data sourcing that happened was from my family itself got it so my uncles my cousins my dad like in all of these folks like we went to them and we recorded them in the studios wow and we bought all of those samples and then we licensed it and then we used it to train the models correct uh, so yeah that's basically the little bit of a backdrop 
uh, how my family has been supportive of you know our ambition for building an AI music company. Coming from artists is one thing, and you know uh, building something like this is another. Right. So let's listen to this part yeah, particular sitar. Uh, can you? Uh, how is your playing compared to this? Like, uh, can you match it? Yeah, I guess. So. Wow. Okay, <laughs> let, let's try it out. Yeah. Like, okay. Right. Here we go. So this is a uh, more of a synthetic sitar. Maybe you can try like uh, more acoustic. Acoustic. Is this? Yeah. Slightly better. But this is more like again, like it is a mix of like keyboard sounding sitar, you know. So like synthetic, uh, oh yeah, MIDI, MIDI based yeah. sitar. Not like acoustic. Not uh, an acoustic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, maybe you can try the third, third example. Let's let's edit the prompt. Let's <laughs> edit the prompt. Yeah. We can, maybe you can type an Indian classical uh, sitar composition. That make that the prompt. Melody. It's actually very nice, like it's very soothing. Like after a day, I mean, I can imagine myself driving the car and you know just listen to music. Like <laughs> it is really amazing. <laughs> so as a musician, right, there is like a balance and work. Uh, right. What is your trick and what is your secret in terms of uh, like how you balancing your music and work right. and building a bit of an AI? Like how are you doing all of this? Like? So playing sitar uh, in my personal time is my passion. Got it. Uh, building Beethoven is a business. Got so it. <laughs> I have to. I look at both of those things from a very different lens. Different lens, yes. right? There's no mixing both. Like no. I feel like musicians make the best businessmen. Like what is your thought? I mean, thought on that? Like I think ultimately art is a product, and uh, the best musicians are the ones who know to sell their product the best. So yes. they are very good at building the product, which is their music. Correct. But they are also very good at distributing the product that is through these platforms. Let's try something new, guys. Uh, so let's use Lion King uh, trailer and create a background score for it. Let's go. Yeah. It says King Pride. Yeah. <laughs> so it understands the natural language prompts and it finds the best, best name, yeah. you know, for <laughs> that. Yeah. So and even user interface is damn smooth and you know you give like exactly four track yes not more than that the idea is we don't want to overwhelm with the user with choices <laughs> absolutely give limited choices and let them pick got it from the choices <laughs> or then edit the prompt and try it try again got yeah. it understood okay the music is ready let's go ahead so <laughs> I think this is amazing how he is creating these kind of background score, which would I think take about how many months and years for yeah. orchestra to. Yeah. Okay. The, imagine the amount of uh, production cost that has been reduced, reduced. for. And wow. it's more like a uh, assist you, right? It's Absolutely. Like, uh, you can again take this idea, correct, and then re-record it in the studio. Absolutely. So and it's like referencing. Referencing. You, know, you can yeah. use this as a referencing tool as well. Correct. The the thing is, like a lot of these models are primarily trained on Western music. Correct. And we, what we are doing at Beethoven is also retraining these correct. for Indian music use cases. Wow. So slowly, slowly, what we are doing is like we are improving the accuracy of these models for regional genres, for folk music, for classical music. Beautiful. So that way, you have a lot of diversity on the Beethoven platform. Correct. Uh, so you can prompt anything that you have in in your mind and Got be it. able to get that sound, or at least close to that sound. Got it. Uh, you know, so that then you can use it for. Whatever it is that you created, got it. I think yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, thank you so much, Mansu, for your time yeah. and uh, spending a day here at AIM. I would like to call it as uh, Bitter One AI Feet AIM Day today. Uh, we are really honored to have you, and yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much. Yeah.